Hi, I'm Mary Ellen, and today I'm going to talk about what I think about the iRestore Professional Hair Growth Helmet that I purchased over four months ago. I want to talk also about the first concealer that I've tried that I have liked in about five years, and nothing was sent to me. This is 100% things that I've paid for or given to me by somebody and the concealer was given to me by my sister. But anyway, I want to talk about that. And of course, there's going to be some chit chat at the end. That's kind of how I roll. And last video, I forgot to mention what palette I bought my girls for Christmas and several of you ask and I will show that toward the end of the video. Most of my viewers watch me regularly, so I don't want to repeat a lot of things. So I, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a card, what they call a card. You can click on it and like see it later or a link to the video when I started using the iRestore, why I purchased it and so on and so forth. I will put that link below. My mother was not a vain woman at all but it really, really bothered her when she started losing her hair. She died when she was 89, and I think around in her mid-70s, her hair, she started losing it. Well, I turned 70 in October, and I've always been kind of proactive when it comes to hair loss. I had that good, healthy hair until I was probably 57 or 60, and then I started losing it, and then it would I'd maintain it. But I've just kind of always been on a quest, not to get my hair to grow quicker, but to see if I can get my hair to be a little thicker. So if, I figure if I can do it at this age, it might be helpful to someone else. I started using this helmet, that's what I'm going to call it, on September 1st. And I have used it faithfully every other day since. So I've had over five months of use using this. Some months it's the even days of the month and some days it's the odd days. But it's really easy for a slacker like me just to look at the calendar and know this is when I'm going to do it. It's comfortable. I'm sure I am not ready to recommend it. I, I still have a long way to go, at least six more months before I know if this really does work. When I first started using it, I didn't feel comfortable walking around with it because it was a little too tight and it left indentations in my forehead. Well, one of you told me that they make smaller bumpers and it has bumper pads and this is the larger ones and this is the small ones. Well, I took out one of the larger ones and put in a small one, just one, and it fits very nicely. It fits well enough that I felt comfortable attaching the battery. So this is all I have to use. I, have, I can put this on a belt, clip it on, this is magnetized and you just charge the battery and it will last two weeks of it, using it every other day. Easy. When I ordered this in, in August, I didn't know that I was going to be having a pacemaker implanted on November the 7th. I think I would have waited, but that's okay. Often when people are under anesthesia, general anesthesia, where they're intubated, a lot of times you do, some people suffer hair loss. And it seems to happen like two to six months after you have been under general anesthesia. And I was under for three and a half hours. I have not noticed any more hair loss than normal. So that's kind of a factor in here. That's why I'm willing to wait till 11 months because you can get your money back. And I'll talk about that in a minute. I can get part of my money back. I had my roots touched up. I get them touched up every three months and I go to the same hairstylist that I've gone to for 30 years. So she has been checking my scalp. She said that I had all over my top of my head in the back, I had growth consistent with right at five months, but it wasn't a lot, but I had it all over. What she noticed and I noticed too, and I really don't like, is this area right here is growing and it is thicker. I'm used to having, and I'll put some pictures in, anybody that knows me knows I've always had this little area right here that doesn't grow. 
and I don't have to do anything with it. I like it. It's been my hairline. It's been the same hairline I've had since I was a little girl, but now I have to do something with it. And it is much thicker, and you can kind of see how it'll stand up right here because it has more hair. Now the hair rat right here is normal for me. I think that I get from my face mask, from my Omnilux mask. I think it helps that area. And also Dermarolin, I'm still doing everything the same. Now in the last 10 days, I've seen a little bit of promise, but not enough to brag yet. Anytime I film a video, I never have on root cover-up. Um, you know, there's all sorts of products you can do to dab on your roots to make to cover gray and also to cover a light scalp. I did that in the very, like 11 years ago when I was filming, since I first started filming video. I bought the Joan Rivers Great Hair Day and I loved it because you just could dab it on your part and it made your hair look thicker. But once I started that quest to find products that would make my hair thicker, I quit doing that. And I hate to say, but sometimes, well, I won't say it. <laughs> I just better not say it. I'm not going to have any before or after pictures. This area is getting uh, longer to thicker. But I would say right now it's 50-50. 50% that I will keep it. It has a one-year guarantee to get part of your money back. And it has a two-year guarantee on the actual helmet. I have the, like I was talking about, I have the Omnilux mask that I use on my face. And I know I could put that on top of my head too, but it isn't, it's not the same as this. And I'm gonna read what the light source is and how many diodes and the bulb. In the Iris Store helmet, it has 82 lasers and 200 LEDs. The mask has 66 bulbs, 100, which are 132 LEDs, Half of them are red, half of them are near F infrared. And the wavelength on the helmet was a little, it was like 650 versus the mask, which was 633. And both of them have a two-year guarantee on the product and like a year guarantee on the controller, the, which I think is really weird. I really do believe in red light therapy. I'm not familiar, I know there's a ton of other light therapies, but uh, the only one that I'm really familiar with is the red light therapy, the near infrared light ther lights. And I, I'm familiar with them from way back in the day in nursing. But I told you I would update you, and I will probably do this again in three months. I do like to talk about how much it cost. I bought the, I bought the battery, which I didn't need, but I'm glad I have it now, because I do use it. And it costs $961, everything to get it to me. And I think I used a discount code from Tamara, from Tamara's Timeless Beauty. I'm pretty sure I did. And I got it like for 10% off. But I don't have a discount code. I don't have an affiliate link. I don't know if it's gonna work for me, so I'm not gonna contact them. But if it's $961, I'm like $40 and four cents. That's how, what it would cost monthly. And then if you divide the 961 by 104 weeks, that would be 924 a week. That's how I try to figure anything in the grand scheme of things. You know, if you need to, if you want to save money, anytime I want something that is larger, I want to know what it's going to really actually cost me on a monthly, a weekly balance, even though I had to pay for it. That's what it's worth. I'm just interested in that because I don't spend any money on facials. I go to my hairstylist four times a year. That's that's the only money that I spend externally for any type of personal care. Yesterday, I demonstrated this concealer that I purchased. No, I didn't purchase it. This was my sister's, and she ordered it. I first heard about it from Monica McGillicuddy, and she loved it. And I thought, and I'm not, I really haven't had a really good taste in my mouth for concealers probably in about five years because, to me, it always brought attention to the areas that you didn't want to have attention to. I'm going to go ahead and put this film in, and then I'm going to talk about it. I think this is as up close and personal as I can get. 
and I want you to see how really dark this area is. I have absolutely no makeup on except for lipstick, but I because I wanted to show you how deep this is. Here is the product I'm talking about. It's by Fiera, and it's a concealer, and the shade is natural beige. I want to show you how little this takes. This is a tool that I bought uh, because of Laura from Laura Ray Beauty. It used to be Shake Up Makeup. I take this and get the smallest amount that I can. And I think you can, well, that's probably too much, but that's okay. So I have this in, on here, so I'm going to put it on my hand. And there it is, right there. Then I'm gonna kind of pat it there. Then I'll take this and put it here. And here. And this is the Angie brush. I think it's uh, A506. It's a concealer brush that I love. And I just take that and I'm not even using a mirror, so I'm not sure how good I'm doing right now. I'll look in the mirror, but I just kind of bounce it in. If there's anything left, I take it over. And I think it's done a real good job of covering that up. Since I wear a CPAP, I've been getting some little red spots where the CPAP goes. And so if there's anything left on my hand, and there is a little bit, I'll just take my brush and I'll dab it where it needs to go and work it in. So this is the first concealer I have used probably in five years that I liked. I really do like it. If my sister wants this back, of course, I'm going to give it to her. The, the shade she bought was neutral beige. She didn't like it, so I thought, well, I'll give it a try. I keep what I need right in this box. Here's that little uh, silicone brush. Also, like I have this tool in there. I don't use it on fingernails, but this will take the product from the top also. If I squeeze this out, too much comes out. That's why I go in and get what product I want because it would just be wasteful and it would be a mess. I just want to use what I need, nothing more, nothing less. I'm pretty well that way on most things. I don't have to powder it. It lasts all day. It does not get in my, using the way I've been doing it, it doesn't get in my fine lines and wrinkles. And I just dab it. Today I have on foundation. I have on the It CC Glow. And I think that's what it is. That normally what I do, I just dab it on my red spots from my doggone CPAP machine. And it ju I just blend it in with that brush and I don't have to put on foundation. And it, it makes me a happy camper. And here is a picture of the ambient palette from Hourglass that I purchased for the girls, for two girls. Was, that was one of their gifts. And I really wanted it, but I could not, I, I could not do it. I just thought, I've got quite a few. Hourglass is a magical powder. My favorite blush of all time is the Hourglass Mood Exposure. I have it on today. It's just perfect. Any of their powders just make you look a lot better. I need to use it all over my face. But those, that's what I, I bought them. And I tell, you can use it for eyeshadow. You can use it for so many different things. You can even put your finger on it. And if you want a little bit of frost on your lipstick, you can dab it on there. But I just think there's something really special about Hourglass Powder. And whether it's blush or powder, I haven't tried anything else other than I do like their lip gloss. It's expensive, but I do like it. I was able to get together with my family at Christmas I'm gonna put a picture in. You can see me in the middle. And the one in the gold sweatshirt is my son, Jeremy. And next to him is my daughter, Gretchen. She's in a green shirt. And I remember telling you that I had asked my grandsons, which on my side, there's six, the ones that had girlfriends, I said, are they Christmas gift worthy? And they said, yes, and they were more than worthy. Everybody was there except for Jim and my grandson who goes to college away. His girlfriend wasn't able to come. She came down later, but and got, of course, I've gotten to meet her and enjoyed her. 
but it was it was wonderful and hopefully next year it'll be even better because Jim will be able to leave the house we still don't know anything about the potential treatment but I will let you know probably in writing underneath this video or the next video what the plan is my plan is to continue doing videos every other Sunday like I have been the last couple of years hard to believe I used to do two a week <laughs> it, but if something would happen and I can't upload a video I will go back to the last video that I uploaded and I will write right in the beginning of that information that you know you can just see at the top of the page what's going on but because I will be fine and if you're still here this is a giveaway I love to do giveaways you know I do and because this is a giveaway, I will not be in, able to reply to your comments because I load them all in a random comment picker and I look for certain words. And I think the word, let me think what I want to do. Okay, to enter, enter, all you have to be is 18 years old. You don't have to be subscribed. You don't have to do anything else. Just be 18. And you have to leave a comment below with the word glow. G-L-O-W. Yeah, I like that word. So just use that word in a sentence and you will be put in random comment picker and I will announce the winners the next video that I upload. And what I'm going to give away are three $100 either e-gift cards or a deposit to your PayPal account. I had a new request for one and it was for a Etsy gift card. I had no idea you could do that. So that was the, one of the last ones that I gave was to Etsy. You need to watch out for scams because you will always be announced on my video and I'll never send you something asking for money. Those scams are still around. I think YouTube has gotten rid of a lot of those guys that come on and make comments under anyway it's kind of aggravating a lot of things are but it is all good and i appreciate you hanging in there with me and i will see you in my next video take care i hate to use the word normally or given to me as a friend that and normally it when i first but i didn't know i was going to do that it's just anybody that just, I tell you where it has really, so I was able to get 